Today, I'm going to show you how to build a restaurant AI receptionist agent that can place orders, make reservations, and interact with customers. All through WhatsApp, with everything seamlessly tracked in Google Sheets. It starts when I send a voice note through WhatsApp. The system picks up the audio message and downloads it. From there, ChatGPT transcribes the audio and sends the resulting text to the AI agent. The AI agent then uses ChatGPT to figure out whether the customer wants to make a reservation or place an order. Based on that, the agent chooses the appropriate tool and generates a smart reply, again with the help of ChatGPT. This reply is sent back to me on WhatsApp, always providing a clear summary of the important details and outlining the next steps. I'll walk you through exactly how this is built, step by step, and show you how to download the workflow yourself. But before we dive into the build, let's start with a live demo. After that, I'll break down each part of the process so you can see how everything works. Let's get started. I first sent an audio message to the agent saying, I would like to have the menu so that I can place an order. Immediately, the agent retrieves the menu, generates a response, and sends it back to me, just like that. Once I have the menu, I send another voice note to the agent. I would like to order two coffees and have them delivered to my place. Now, here's where it gets cool. The agent checks whether all the required information is available. If something's missing, it fires back a reply asking for the details needed to complete the order. So, I send another voice note with the missing information. My name, email, and home address. The agent processes this, uses the ordering tool to create a new order, then replies with a confirmation message. Simple. Next, I check the sheet to confirm that all the order details are correct. Everything looks perfect. With the ordering system working seamlessly, I move on to booking a reservation. I send a voice note. I would like to make a reservation for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Again, the agent checks if it has all the required information. If not, it replies, asking for the extra details needed to complete the reservation. I respond with another voice note, providing the missing info, my name, email, and the number of guests. But here's the twist. The agent checks the calendar, finds that there's already a table booked for 2 p.m., and asks me to pick another time. So I send another voice note, suggesting 3 p.m. instead. And you'll notice something super important. We can also set a limit. For example, only allowing up to 50 people to book at any specific time. The agent can keep track and enforce this limit easily. No chaos, no double bookings. Finally, I head over to the calendar to confirm the event. And that's it. That's how smooth and efficient the entire process is. From placing an order to booking a reservation, all via simple voice notes. Let's set up this thing. First, we're going to need a trigger, so for this, we're going to use WhatsApp. Under Options, select On Message, and then make sure you select your credentials that you have connected. If you haven't, click Create New Credentials. Then, populate them with your client ID and client secret. I have a special video dedicated to how to set up your WhatsApp account, so do click on the link below and you'll find that video. Then, once you're done, click Save and Exit. So now we need to get some data. Let's execute the node so that we can proceed to the next node. Now that we have some data into this thing, we can then proceed to the next node. For this one, we're going to need the switch node. This switch node basically allows us to separate the two different input types between audio and text. WhatsApp gives us two outputs. The first is text, where the user can type and send a message, and the second is voice recording, where the user can send a voice note. Let's set up those two routes. The first route we're going to set up is audio. Head over to the message, and you'll see type. Then on type, drag the type. Because we want to pull the message only when it says audio, the string needs to equal audio. Now let's rename it to audio. Now let's do the same for text. It's basically the same. The string needs to equal text. Then name it text. Let's execute. Now we need to download the audio from WhatsApp. To do this, we'll use an HTTP request node. Make sure you have your authentication string ready. Next, type in the URL here. You can either copy it from this video or grab it from our community resources. I'll explain how it works in a moment. Now we need to pull the audio ID. Remember, we also need to authenticate the request, so use the same authentication you set up for WhatsApp. Let's label this node Get Audio. Go ahead and execute the node. Once it returns the file information, we'll need another HTTP request node to actually download the audio file. Set the method to get, and for the URL, use the value from the previous node. Just drag and drop it into the URL field. For authentication, use the same Facebook auth credentials that you used earlier to connect WhatsApp. Once you're ready, execute the node. You should now have your audio file. Next, we need to transcribe this audio so that we can prep it to send over to the AI agent. Let's do this. We need an open AI node. Under Options, select Transcribe Audio. Then, under Resource, select Audio. The operation should be set to Transcribed. The input should be left as data. Everything is fine here. Make sure you have your credentials set up. If you don't have your OpenAI credentials set up, I have a special video dedicated to this as well, so you can just click the link below to find those steps. Now that the audio is transcribed, let's move over to the next step. 
Now that we have all this prepped, we need to send this message to our agent in order to collect orders and everything else. We're going to search for an AI agent. Okay, then, under Source Prompt, select Define as below. For the prompt, we're going to pull this information from the community. Let me just copy this so that you don't have to see me typing it out. This is if it's text and this is if it's audio. Don't mind this error, this body will only be active when it's text, and this one will only work if the audio comes from the open AI node. We'll handle this later, but it won't really affect anything because it's an empty variable. Now, let's define the system message. This basically tells the AI what it is and what to do. It's just a simple basic system message for a helpful AI assistant. Let's expand this. You can get this on the community, but all it says is that you are a restaurant AI agent designed to handle these tasks. Send messages, check availability, make reservations, and place takeaway orders. Additional information is that it can also retrieve past conversations as needed. It also needs to take note of the time and the phone number of the user so that it can have the record and place it for us in the Google Sheet as well. Now that this is done, we need to give it a brain. For this, we're going to use OpenAI again. I'm going to use the 4.1. You can use the any open AI model, but I am using the 4.1. Uh, it's the latest and most intelligent one yet. We also need to give it memory. It's a simple buffer memory. What this node does is allow the AI agent to retrieve the chat history so that it doesn't reset each time a user types a new message. Now we need to add the menu. Our first tool is the menu tool, which is a Google document. If you don't know how to set up your credentials, make sure you check out the videos on my YouTube channel. I have a special video that goes through credential setup of Google Apps. Let's name this menu tool because if you don't name it, it doesn't work properly. For tools, we're going to set them as manual, then give a description like this. This is the menu tool, and you can get the menu of our restaurant. The resources document operation is get, and the document is this Word document where we just populated the menu. This is a knowledge base the AI can retrieve at will, so the user can place orders as seen in the demo. This is our first tool complete. Next, we add our booking tool, the calendar tool. First, it needs to retrieve all our calendars and events currently active, so it doesn't create double bookings. Set up your credentials, then set the tool as manual. This message says, this is a Google Calendar tool to check if there is any event in the current time slot. It passes, start to search for an event date before and after. The resources are labeled with the resource as event. The operation as get many, because this is a retrieval tool. We select the calendar and allow AI to populate after and before. Now create another calendar tool for creating events. Again, set the credentials and set the tool description as manual. This is a calendar create tool, so feel free to read the message. Select the calendar, and on the start date, we are going to let the agent determine the start date. We are also going to let the agent determine the end date. Then click on Add Fields and select Attendees. We are also going to let the agent determine this. Then let's add the summary field. This will allow the AI to specify the title and also other booking details. Then let's label this tool accordingly, otherwise it wouldn't work. Let's call it Create Calendar. Now the calendar tool is done. Next we create the Google Sheet tool. This is the food ordering tool. The sheet is sent to the restaurant so the restaurant knows who ordered, what they ordered, their address, and all the necessary order details requested to complete the order. You can customize the sheet as you see fit. Set up your credentials, then set the tool as manual. This message says, set descriptions to manual and label this as food order sheet. Include the name, contact, delivery address, food, and total order amount columns. Then set the operation as append or update row. Under document, you can paste the URL of your sheet or select your restaurant sheet from the list. Then under mapping column mode, select map automatically. Under column to match on, Select order number or the client's number. Now the ordering tool is done. Next, add a calculator tool. It's handy if needed. We also need to add a think node to make our AI agent smarter. Once that's done, we need to set up the response. Again, we need to add a WhatsApp node. Under options, select send message. Use the same WhatsApp credentials we set up earlier. Rename the node to send reply. For the sender phone, select your account's number from the drop-down list. The recipient's phone number must be pulled from the WhatsApp trigger node under the list. For the text body, add this code, $json.output. All we have to do is pull this into this node, and that's it. If you're a complete beginner, or you've got a little experience, but you're hungry to take your knowledge even further, then you need to check out my community. The link is waiting for you right down in the description.